Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my newest Lawless products. Um, I did give you guys kind of a heads up about them on my stories about uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, but as I mentioned, especially with the foundation, it's one of those types of products that you have to continue to wear to get a good feel for how it lasts, how it holds up and things like that. So I'm gonna be talking about that today. Um, most importantly, I will be giving you guys my honest feedback. <laughs> um, but while I do that, I'm also going to apply it so you can kind of see um, the routine that I kind of figured out for maximizing uh, the products. So I'm just gonna get started. Um, so what I've been doing is priming, obviously, first. So there is one thing that I realized about the foundation kind of early on. Um, so that was that it was not compatible with my skin with just a primer. Um, I had spent months because of COVID in quarantine, not really using actual primer and foundation, kind of getting away with just using like a tinted moisturizer or um, CC cream or things like that, um, with a little bit of concealer. And so I wasn't actually priming or setting anything. So I kind of got into some terrible habits. Um, so when I first started using the Lawless Foundation, I was kind of maintaining those habits of not really priming and not really setting, and that really messed me up. Um, so when I finally started that process, again, it definitely helped, but it wasn't perfect. So what I realized, and I actually picked up this trick from Annie Lawless, who is the founder of Lawless. Um, I follow her on Instagram, and she had posted this in one of her stories at one point in time. Um, but what she does, and what I have found, is actually made a big difference with how the Lawless Foundation stays on your skin and lasts, is she actually um, does like a semi-powder set on the primer before applying foundation. So I started doing that kind of in my T-zone areas where I get the most oily. And it's a very light dusting of powder, not like a full set, just a little bit of powder to kind of mattify the area first. So that's, that's the, that's the big trick guys. Um, so as I said, when I first was using the foundation, even when I was just priming and not setting the primer, um, it was kind of just lifting off of my skin pretty easily. Like I said, I have oily skin and so it just was coming right off. Like I would just scratch my forehead and just a chunk of it would come out and it was not ideal in any way, shape or form. Um, but I did find that following Annie's tip of setting the primer makes a world of difference uh, with the foundation, how it lasts, how it stays. Now when I do this, um, where I set the primer, the foundation not only lasts throughout the day, but it stays matte um, for at least eight hours so far. I've seen it stay matte for about 10 hours on my face, um, but that's still a a very long time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm super excited about that. But I do feel that I shouldn't have to do the extra set um, for the primer um, to kind of get the foundation to last on my face. I have plenty of other foundations that obviously don't need that extra step and do last longer. But given that this is a clean product, so it's obviously better for your skin and better for you in general, <laughs> um, I feel like it's worth it. And I do love it after it's been set as a, as a foundation. It's actually pretty freaking amazing. Um, so what I do is I actually put uh, two pumps after I shake it onto a flat brush and just kind of go in with it. So that's what I'm gonna do.
that's it for the application. Of course, like normal foundation, I still set after, even though I kind of set the primer before. So like I said, you're kind of doing like a double set with the foundation, but it really does make a world of difference um, with the way that it stays and holds throughout the day. Now, before I get to the blush, which was my other Lawless product, I'm just gonna do a quick contour on my face and then we'll get going. Now that my contour is done, um, I'm gonna get right into the blush. So I did mention this in my stories again, but I'm just gonna reiterate it for those of you who didn't follow me on Instagram or maybe just didn't see that video. Um, the blush has a ton of um, hydrating ingredients in them. One of them is squalane, which I'm super excited about. I love that in skincare. Um, but there's tons, of, tons and tons of hydrating benefits to this blush. Not only is it hydrating, but it feels creamy. So whether you're swatching it or actually putting it on your skin, like it has a very, very creamy finish. And on top of that, it's extremely pigmented. So a little goes a long way. Um, so what I have found with this is I hit my brush it twice, tapped for the excess, and then kind of start on the inner part of my cheekbone and then work my way out. Um, like I said, it does kind of it is pigmented. <laughs> um, so it, like I said, a little goes a long way. That two, um, I don't even call that, two dips into it um, is more than enough for that one cheek. And then um, of course do the same on the other side. The other thing that I've been enjoying doing, and again, I picked this up from Annie. So the owner of the makeup brand, um, it's kind of dusting a teeny bit over the nose to kind of give you a little bit of like that kind of sun-kissed nose look. Um, and I also like to dab into it and then do a little on my eyes. So just kind of give a tint of color to my eyes as well. Um, this has kind of just been my go-to look um, every day really for my work from home look, just cause it's simple, but it gives a little bit of extra oomph, you know, to my face. Um, but I did want to reiterate again that I am obsessed with the blush. I actually just ordered two more of the colors because I'm really excited about it. Right now it is the only blush that I want to use. Um, so that says a lot because I probably have about 40 different blushes um, from different companies, brands, colors, everything, and it's still my favorite.
So obviously I wanted to give you guys a full, a little bit more in-depth review of the products now that I have kind of given myself two weeks to try them out in different scenarios, see how long everything lasts, see best tips and tricks for application. And like I've explained in the video, um, biggest tip really or trick when it comes to using the Lawless products is specifically around the foundation, the Woke Up Like This foundation. Um, and that trick is just making sure that after you prime your face, you just do a light dusting of setting powder. Very light dusting, by the way. Um, you don't wanna put too much powder or else it'll just make it really, really difficult for you to get the foundation on your face afterwards. So really, really, really light dusting of uh, setting powder on your face right between the primer and your foundation. And then of course, fully set after you apply your foundation. Um, and like I mentioned, it really does make the world a difference with the lasting nature and the way that uh, the finishes. Um, so you get a much more matte finish that lasts throughout the day. I've had it last anywhere from eight hours up to 11 hours. And it really does stay matte, stay on your skin and not come off. Um, so I, like I said earlier, um, was using it without priming properly or without setting properly. And the foundation was literally just scratching off my face. Like I would just scratch my forehead and I would lose it. Um, and that would be within like two hours of me applying. Um, so like I said, huge difference, just making sure that you're priming, setting, foundation, set again. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is the finish on it. So it does have a more matte look because of the fact that we are doing so much setting to it. Of course, if you want a more glowy look, all you have to do is apply a little bit of highlighter in your set. Um, but I did want to mention that unlike a lot of other fuller coverage foundations, when you put on the foundation, this woke up like this foundation by Lawless, um, once it dries, it genuinely doesn't really feel like there's anything there. Like I will touch my face, scratch my face, like move my face doesn't feel like I'm wearing any makeup at all. Um, and I don't think I can say that about a lot of fuller coverage foundations. Um, just so you are aware, this is more of like a medium coverage when you put it on just one layer, but if you use a little bit more, obviously it's got a buildable um, coverage so it gets fuller the more you apply. I obviously like a super full coverage look. Um, so I have been doing two to like three pumps every time I use it. And again, even with that much, it really doesn't feel like I'm caked on with the foundation. It feels pretty darn natural. I almost always forget that I'm actually wearing foundation. Um, and then of course it has the amazing benefit of being a clean product. So you don't have all the junk that is just gonna get absorbed into your skin. That's bad for your body, bad for your pores, bad for your skin, um, which I have noticed make a difference. So I have, somewhat sensitive skin, but it's more prone to just getting clogged pores. So that's, I get clogged pores super easily. And I have basically had almost entirely clear skin the entire time that I have been using Lawless. So that says a lot for me because I do have a tendency to get uh, minor breakouts along my jawline and my chin, just cause I touch my face a lot when I'm working. And that's all but stopped at this point. Um, ever since I've been using the Lawless foundation and I do attribute it to that. So I do think that using clean products does make a difference. Um, but of course these are also really good makeup products in general as well. Um, like I mentioned with the blush, I absolutely love it. Um, it goes on super creamy and smooth. Um, it does have a bunch of hydrating benefits like squalene and shea butter built right into the actual formula. Um, obviously the color I got, Desert Rose, is super pretty. Got like an orangey kind of tint to it. And I've clearly been using it way too much. Um, it's pretty, pretty overused for being only two weeks in. Um, but yeah, again, that's Desert Rose for the Make Me Blush Velvet Blush. And for my Lawless Woke Up Like This foundation, I was using the Mojave color. Um, for those of you that were interested, um, I did pick the color online. Um, so I wasn't, you know, in store figuring it out. I did pick a warmer tone that has more of like a yellow undertone just because that's the way that I kind of tan. Um, but I think I did go a little bit too yellow with this color. Um, I have been able to make it work. It's not completely unreasonable. Once I pull my hair down, you can't really tell, but um, if my chest 
is showing it is a little bit obvious so I do have to be better about color matching next time um, but aside from that the formula is absolutely amazing as long as again you follow that tip trick to set your primer now if you guys have any questions at all about the lawless products that I've tried so far so it's the foundation the blush I've also tried their soft matte liquid lipstick and then their lip gloss they also do have a primer that I haven't tried. Um, they have eyeshadow palettes that I haven't tried and they also have actual lipsticks, um, which I am interested in checking out. So if you guys actually wanna see that, just comment and let me know and I will definitely check those out and give you guys feedback on them. Um, if there are other clean beauty brands that you're interested in, let me know. I actually just picked up the Ilia Multi Stick because um, I love the concept of having a stick that you can use as blush, eyeshadow, or lipstick. Um, so I just picked that up and I'm gonna probably try that out and give you guys a review on that soon as well. Um, but if there's anything that you guys want me to try out, if you want feedback on, let me know. I am super excited to try it. I honestly, it's my favorite part about makeup is trying new things. Um, so I love doing that. So feel free to ask me if there's anything you guys want me to try. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to, um, I guess, reinforce is the fact that anytime I do any product reviews here, they're 100% entirely honest reviews. Um, I have so far not done any sponsored reviews um, or product feedback at all. So I just want you to know that everything is 100% my true opinion. But if there is a point in time where that does happen and I do have uh, sponsored products or complimentary products that I am reviewing, I will let you guys know, but just also know that I, again, am still gonna be entirely true to myself. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I wanna give you a very, very, very honest opinion, give you the true feedback, um, because I don't want you all making decisions um, based off of false reviews. I like, that's just not there. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'm always going to be telling you guys the truth, always giving you my opinion. Keep that in mind though. It is my opinion, how it goes with my skin and what I like. So it may not always work for you guys, um, but I will do my best to kind of explain why I like things or why I don't so that you have a better idea of whether or not you will or won't. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to reinforce that, kind of let you guys know of that again. And then as I mentioned, if there's anything at all that you are interested in me trying or you have questions about, comment below, DM me, let me know. I am super excited and willing to try out anything for you guys, answer any questions. So yeah, just let me know. And I hope you all have a great week. And I do have a new look coming out for you soon that I'm really excited about. So stay tuned. Thanks.